Jacksonville Port Authority is being sued by a former employee in a sexual harassment lawsuit. She claims other employees sexually assaulted her in targeting the port for hostile work environment. Action News Jack's Elizabeth Pace is live at Jack's Port right now. Elizabeth, she claims the harassment lasted for two years. Yes, she says it started in 2015 and continued into 2017 right here at the port. Now, for the first time, we heard from the CEO of Jack's Port today who reinforced a zero tolerance policy. The lawsuit targets Jack's Port and U.S. Security Associates for gender discrimination and hostile work environment. Three other employees are being sued after claims of sexual harassment and assault. The lawsuit comes after a former employee of a security company previously contracted by Jack's Port. Starting in 2015, she claims she was touched inappropriately, coerced into sexual activities during a promotion process, and sexually assaulted on the property. The lawsuit says one of the employees advised her not to tell anyone about the sexual encounter after an anonymous letter was sent to Jacksport showing misconduct. The CEO of Jacksport, Eric Green, made a statement at a board meeting Monday morning saying he has a zero tolerance policy for workplace harassment of any kind. Jacksport's longstanding policy strictly prohibits supervisors from using their authority to intimidate, coerce, or harass anyone during the course of their work. Every Jacksport employee required to pledge that they have read and thoroughly understand this policy and must go through a mandatory anti-harassment training regular. In the last 30 minutes, I talked to the plaintiff's attorney who said, quote, this conduct conduct that was experienced by the plaintiff is indicative of a culture of sexual harassment at Jacksport. And such conduct cannot be tolerated, end quote. Now, I also reached out to Jacksport, who referred me back to the statement made at the board meeting this morning. But any additional developments, I'll put on my Twitter page at Pace and Jacks. Reporting at Jacksport, Elizabeth Pace, CBS 47, Action News, Jack.